Okay, so for the Mavic Air 2, I just got this. And that is to illuminate the LED light even bigger, like make it into a spotlight. It's basically just a lens held on by these, these right here. So I'm going to activate it by double tap. So now he can, I'm holding it up here like that. That's what it looks like, right? Pretty damn bright. So now I'm going to take it off. One sec. Okay. So now that I took it off, it pretty much lights up. Same height. Pretty much lights up the whole floor a lot wider. So I'm thinking when this thing is up in the air, I can be higher and I'll be more uh, streamlined instead of a huge floodlight like this is right now. It'll be interesting. So that's with it off. Right? That's what it looks like. Put it back on. And with it back on, the LED looks actually smaller. So I'm thinking you can be up higher and um, it'll be more of a streamed light coming down from being higher because with this off it's more of a floodlight as you saw so that's gonna be interesting you don't have to do that do a flight at night see that is pretty cool that is pretty cool all right I guess we'll see what happens at night take off The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so we're going to do some testing here. So we're going to do it at 50 feet, like so. Right around there, it's good enough. So turn the camera down. There's the car. And turn the light on. Okay, so that's with the light on at 50 feet above the car. Can't really see much. 55 feet up. I'm, I'm on gravel right now. See? Lit off. Light back on. So we're going to move it up to 100 feet. Turn the light off. Can't really tell. That's with the light on. So, can't really tell with the light being on. But you can see the reflection on the car paint. Pretty insignificant. So, we're going to bring it back down. Leave it on. That's 100 feet. But probably around 30 feet, you could definitely tell it's on. So, there's 30 feet. You could definitely tell it's on. Turn it off. And that's with the light back on. And now we're going to land. And that's where you can really tell right there. So there's 10 feet. Off, on. So, okay. So now we know what that looks like. Landing. So now we're going to pause it. 
Okay, so now the light is, that lens is on the light. Let's see how it goes. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So let's go to 50 feet and see how that light looks now. So point it down. So the auxiliary light is on. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell now. Okay, so let's kick it up to 100 feet. Yeah, you can tell it's on for sure. Turn it off. Turn it on. So that's 100 feet. 50 feet. It's definitely more of a beam. There's 50 feet. When you want to secure a low rate, Rocket can. Call 833-8-ROCKET or visit rocketmortgage.com. There's 10 feet. Don't miss the slow summer sale at Ideal U. Ideal U Health Center will help you lose up to 40 pounds in 40 days. The weather is already warming up. This is your chance to... So put in city mode. It's pretty shaky. So 100 feet. So if you're looking for something, I think you'd have to stick it in. Stick it in a photo on auto. It would be the best bet. Yeah. I don't like the fact that it's more of a spotlight. I guess if you're stationary, it's good. Like this. Because you can definitely see it, but it jerks all over the place, the light, see? And then if you move it, when it sways either way, I'm moving to the right, it sways to the left. And the other way around. That's at 50 feet. Not bad, I guess. If you need a specific light. Shining Landing. Down, shining down. I guess it has its purpose. Oh, that's it.